All right, here we go. This is Meow Ling, or Ling Meow, or just Meow. The white one on the left, Omega, the brown one, the brown, the gray one, jeez, on the right. And um, here, look, 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 you got your own right there. Yeah. So um, real quick, the quality on this is not gonna be great. I'm shooting it off my phone. But um, I just wanted to give y'all a little testimony real quick because this happened to me, to us, but really me because I'm the one that fed it to her. And, um, you know, so anyways, it was it was me. I'm the guilty culprit. I'm the doofus that did it, that didn't know what he was doing. Uh, and I know that from looking through the Internet, if you found this video, then this has probably happened to you and you haven't seen a lot of great reports so I just want to give y'all some encouragement real quick. So we got these kittens um, last week and um, they were uh, like probably around four weeks old, still nursing, still needing to be weaned. And uh, one was already eating solid food, the gray one, but the white one that you saw, she was still on the bottle. So the first night we got the bottle, bottle fed them, or bottle fed her, no problem. The second night I'm sitting there with my oldest son, on the bed, bottle feeding the baby, and all of a sudden, the nipple disappears. I'm like, yo, what just happened? She's gagging. So I try to get it out of her throat, but boom, she swallows it. And so now I look, and I'm like, man, she swallowed a big piece. And um, I start looking to see what this means for her because she's really small. The reports are all super negative. Uh, she doesn't poop for a few days. We were still having a stimulator anyways. And um, so we, t we took her to the vet, negative report. They took the x-rays, which they graciously did for free, um, took two x-rays, and that was nice. But they were saying, like, surgery or bust type stuff. And we really were concerned about her. It's her, you know, surgery. We don't want that, her well-being. And then on top of that, the expense. So, but mostly it was her, you know what I mean? And just not a good situation. Pretty stressful and um, so um, we were looking up things that we could do. So I just want to encourage y'all. I'm going to tell you the result and I'm going to tell you what we did. Now, first and foremost, the first thing we did is we took it to the Lord in prayer. And, you know, speak to this mountain and it'll move. Ask and if you believe it, it should be given unto you, you know, um, if you believe. And so all of that stuff, you know, we're believers. And so we, we trust the Lord in that. Um, real quick, spoiler alert, there's the nipple, keeping that as a keepsake, might be gross to you, but to us it's important, keep it a little baggy though, all right, so, um, so anyways, uh, bottom line is, um, we took it to the Lord in prayer, and, and then from there, here's some other things that we did as well, now for us, at the beginning and the end, God moved on her behalf, and ultimately on our behalf uh, in the situation. But uh, what happened was um, we did do a couple of things that we felt were wisdom for us to do. If you ask me how I interpret it, God gave us the wisdom to do these particular things as well. Um, so in addition to obviously prayer and believing. So first thing is we gave her... Um, Kitten few puree. We stopped feeding her this mess. We cut that out. And we switched over to the puree. They're like fussy little babies. The puree, particularly the pumpkin joint. It was this stuff. But we had a pumpkin one. Uh, we don't have it anymore. She ate all of it. We also put a couple of dabs of olive oil in her food. And we mixed it with water to make sure she was well hydrated. So that she could... Bowels could move. And then um, they gave us some lactulose at the vet. So we gave her that. And she pooped. And then um, like the second to last day before it went down, she, she uh, threw up that day. And then she was real lethargic. And so we were like really concerned. She was not really doing that great. So we're just like massaging her belly lightly and just blessing her and speaking to her, speaking to the nipple, telling it to move. In Jesus' name, you know, and um, giving her the stuff. And 
Long story short, the next day she did poop. She did hold her food down, but no nipple. And then Wednesday, what's today? Thursday, Tuesday. On Tuesday, two days ago, I came home on my lunch break. I haven't been able to get either one of them to poop stimulating them. My wife has. Well, I came home and I just like, man, I just feel like it's going to happen. I told her that. And I was really thankful the Lord let it happen when I was stimulating her because I kind of felt guilty because I'm the one that fed her the nipple to begin with in my ignorance. And um, she pooped it out at the bottom line. I stimulated her with the cotton swab for a second or two. And then I hit her with the triangle method that I saw on YouTube. And she did. She passed that piece of nipple that you could that you just saw. Um, it's pretty large for a little kitten of her size. But she passed it and... That was a relief. And then the crazy thing is, right before I shot this video, she's now pooping on her own. <laughs> her sister's not even doing it yet. So not only has she overcome the situation, but now she's actually independently doing her business in the litter box. And I got to go clean some of that up now. But I just wanted to throw it out there to you. You know, if you got a kitten, and I'm doing this because, you know, if you're like me and my wife or even the kids... You're really concerned. You know, it's not just something you flippantly approach. You, you're you concerned about the welfare of the little kitten. So, um, I need to go tend to them. But, what I'm saying is, I want you to be encouraged. Uh, I definitely recommend taking it to the Lord, you know, and putting it in His hands. Those are some of the things that we felt like He directed us through the avenues that we sought out to do. And the bottom line is the thing came out. So you take this stuff how you want to take it. I hope that it gives you some peace, gives you some encouragement if you're right in the middle of the thing right now. Uh, for us, it was like six days. I think it was that Wednesday. It was that Thursday, I think, that she ate it or Wednesday. So it was five days. Backwards from Tuesday, five days, Thursday. So yeah, Thursday she ate it, for, um, Tuesday she passed it. So if you're in the middle of it now, just be encouraged. Those are the things that we did. It was the pureed food. Uh, we did mix in some of the fish as well to give her something a little bulky, make sure she was gaining weight because if she was throwing up, we were concerned she wouldn't gain weight and that would be a problem. So it's like this delicate issue. Um, water, olive oil, we gave her the lactulose. And she passed it. So if you're believing, if you got a kitten, you came across this video, you've probably seen negative reports by now. Uh, there weren't that many positive ones, especially on YouTube, um, that were really coherent and positive. But um, we stand in agreement with you, you know, that your little, your little kitty will pass the obstruction and she will be just fine. So hope this blesses you. And if this happens to you and then your kitten passes, man, let us know in the comments. It'd be a, an encouragement, you know, that we didn't just do this for no reason. You know, and I, I don't feel like it is, but it'll be a blessing, though. So if that, if you have a success story, share it with us. We'd love to hear it. And that could bless somebody else in turn, too. All right, that's it.